Hello guys, today I would like to show you how to make this cute Christmas teddy bear. It might be awesome present for your kids and you can choose any material that you'd like. For this project I will need some kind of fabric. I purchased two huge size sparkly t-shirts from Sainsbury's for 18 pounds each. The pattern that I use is Simplicity Craft 5461. I place all parts of the material and cut the shapes around the pattern. You should come out with two pieces of front bodies, two pieces of back bodies, four pieces for arms, four for legs, two pieces for soles of the feet, two parts of back of the head, two parts of side front face and one part of the middle of the face and plus some ears, which I forgot to cut out straight away, so I will do it at the end. These are all the parts minus ears. After everything is laid out, I'm ready to sew. So I will start with two teddy bear hands. I reverse them to the wrong side so I can sew them with 0.4 cm allowance. Then I will move on to legs where I will join the front and back of the legs lined together. To be honest, I've never sewn from a fabric like this, even though I did sew about millions of these teddy bears. So let's go to the feet. I will join front and back seams of the legs together. Next, I'm going to sew in the soles of the feet. It is not very easy, so if you're not very confident, I recommend to do it by hands first. I decided to sew it straight on the sewing machine by fixing the sole from both sides first and only then run it all the way around. In this case, I can stretch the fabric if it doesn't match somewhere lengthwise. After I finish with the feet and legs, I turn them inside out and they look so cute and sparkly, yay! Next, moving on to bodies of the teddy bear. I've got two front and two back bodies. First, I will need to close those pleats. This is how it looks like when joined. It's going to shape teddy bear's back in the place where he's going to sit. Then I'm going to join middle parts together, making sure that side vertical seams look outwards. Next I'm going to work on teddy bear's stomach. In order to understand which sides to join where, shorter sides of the panels are the middle of the stomach and it's going to be joined together and longer sides are going to be the sides of the body. Before I join front and back of the bodies, I need to insert teddy bear's legs into the seam. For that, I will need to fill them with anti-allergy fiber. For this, I used a pillow. Someone is going to end up having allergy tonight, not me. After I finish with the legs, I will attach them to the back bodies first, making sure that I attach them evenly from each other. Then I attach the front body, moving from the bottom of the bodies all the way up to the neckline. It will be a bit more complicated if you chosen cotton fabric, not the stretchy one like I am. So you would have to maneuver more. However, anything is possible, so do not worry. After I've done the bottom, yeah, I will have to join side parts together. Ta-da! The bodice is completed. I have to fill it with the fiber again. The stretchier fabric you choose, the more fiber you will need to use. Make sure you continuously shape the body with your hands in order to avoid lumps. 
Time to fill the hands with fiber before attaching them to the neckline of the body. If your fabric is too stretchy, do not overload it with fiber, just fill it in until you see nice shape. Pin hands to the bodies and move to the head. In front of you, you see two parts of the front head that will shape chin and cheeks of the face, then one part of the front that will shape nose and forehead of the face, plus two parts of the back of the head. First, I join front sides of the face in the chin area, so when I open it up, it looks like bat's wings. Then I will attach center part by pinning the narrowest part to the middle side of butt wings as per video image and then I sew it together. This is how it looks like in a perfect scenario, moving to the back of the head. Again, looking at the panels, it's difficult to work out where is going to be the center back head, so the shorter part is the center of the back head and the longer parts are the sides of the back head that are going to be joined to the front side of the head. Before I attach front and back of the heads together, I need to attach ears in order for them to hold the shape. I also cut two of the same shapes from much harder fabric. You can use fused fabric. I could not find one at home, so I used just extra hard fabric. Yes. My side camera ran out of the battery, so I'm using my phone now. Sorry for the weird angle. Anyways, after I cut out all the cute ear shapes, I sewed them on the another side and later turn them inside out. Okay, so ears are done. I need to attach them to the face and I'm going to do it at the same time while attaching back and front of the heads together. In order to place ears perfectly, make sure that face lines are in the middle of the bottom of the ears, literally in the middle. This way both ears will look evenly. After I attach ears to the front part of the face, I attach back of the head to the front. Next, fill the face with the fiber. But before that, I need to attach the nose. You can buy teddy bear nose and eyes on eBay. However, you don't have to do it. It still will look cute without it. In fact, I only attach nose first, then fill the head with the fiber, then place eyes to see if they look cute on the face, make small incisions with scissors in place where eyes will be fixed, then take out the fiber again, fix the eyes and then fill the head with fiber again. Trust me, it is much better than placing eyes on empty head, eyes might end up look funny or weird. It did happen to me. Now, oh, look at this face. Now I need to attach the head to the bodice. I will do it by hand. 